and adjust or fine tune anything that you need in your body so that you may be still a few moments here. Let your hands rest comfortably in your lap and a little bit dependent upon how you feel today energetically will determine which way that your hands are turned. So if you're feeling a little bit lethargic or depleted, palms turned open is a receptive mudra or hand gesture that receives the energy that draws in more inspiration and helps you elevate. And if you're looking for more grounding, centering, calming, maybe the palms turn down, which guides ourselves into an energetic contained space where the prana circles through our body and stays kind of harnessed on the center. So check in with yourself and what you need. And then let your eyes soften or close. Start to find a fuller breath here. Let it be slow and natural to start. Nothing too forced. Breathing all the way in. Soft, open mouth, exhale. Two more like that. Make them slow. Let your exhales help you release something. Inhale. And exhale. Bring your hands to your heart center that spiritual and energetic space that provides us understanding, compassion, and patience through our practice. What we do on our mats is just a small representation of how we show up in our lives. I want you to commit to yourself for this next hour of movement, to practice patience, humil humility, and honoring yourself through the struggle, through the shakes. Remembering that just like our yoga practice, life can be messy, unbalanced, unsure. And that it's our practice to learn how to remain steadfast, calm and centered throughout the ups and downs. Take a deep breath in. Open up, exhale. Keeping your palms together, slowly start to extend your arms up and overhead, working your arms towards straight, biceps frame your ears. Keep your left arm where it is, take your right hand down to the earth. Left hand stays, left hip stays grounded as you stretch over to the right side, maybe turning your gaze upward and under your left arm. Belly's in strong here, take your right arm back to meet your left palms to center, and then take it the other way. Left hand down, right arm arcs over. Equal but opposite as right hip draws down to the floor. Both palms up, arms long. Maybe look up this time. And on your exhale, bring your hands through your heart center. We're gonna roll over our shins and shift to one side. Make your way to child's pose, knees out wide, big toes to touch, and sit your hips to your heels. Rest your forehead in that space, right between your upper arms, and let your head rock gently side to side. Breathe in to stretch your arms a little bit longer. And breathe out to really sit your hips back to your heels, chest melting towards the earth. One more breath. 
Exhale it out. Start to awaken through your hands. Begin to make your way up to a tabletop. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. We're gonna ground down through our left palm in the center of our, or pardon me, right palm, and the left arm is gonna open up to the sky. Roll out your left wrist here a few times both ways. Nice and open through the joints. And then the left arm is gonna thread underneath you to the right side. Rest your left shoulder and your left ear to the earth. Little twist through the upper back. Head rests low. Breathe in. Breathe out. Right palm grounds once again. Open your left arm high to the sky. You're gonna keep your right hand and your right knee grounded. Step your left leg to the back of your space. Modified side plank. Really stretch up tall through your left hand and press down actively into your right. Take the left arm all the way overhead for a big left side body stretch, extending the fingers in the opposite direction of your left outer edge of foot. Super strong core here, press into your left foot and rise up to gate pose on your kneeling right knee, arms long in a T. Left arm goes down the length of your straight left leg, right palm turns to the sky, Reverse warrior, inhale, big breath. From this gate stretch, exhale, take your hands back down to the floor. Your left leg stays long. Pivot onto your left toes. Press back actively through your left heel, straight and strong leg. Press into your hands, pop up the back of your shoulders and bring your right knee to your chest. Three-legged dog, right leg sweeps up high, breathe in. Bend your right knee open and stack your hips. Drop your head all the way here and sink heavy into your left heel. Next inhale breath, straighten your right leg, level your hips. Exhale, knee to your nose, round forward. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Exhale through to a low lunge. Set your foot between your hands. Lower your left knee to the earth. Breathe in to press your hips forward, look up. And on your exhale, Ardha Hanuman, half splits. Straighten your right leg and flex your right toes towards the sky. Inhale again, forward to your lunge. And exhale, shifting your hips back. Breathe in. Empty out. Forward to your low lunge. Bring your left hand flesh to the inside of your right foot and twist your right arm open. So you're twisting over your front lunging right knee. Breathe in. Exhale, fingertips to the floor. Tuck your back left toes, lift your back left knee, strengthen your leg and step it forward, feet to knee. Take your feet wide here, about outer hips with distance. Bend your knees and hold opposite elbows, rag off forward fold. Gentle sway through your upper spine. Let your head shake out here heavily, finding a deep yes, a soft no. Inhale. Heavy-headed exhale, letting something release here. Fingertips back down to the earth. Bring your feet together to touch in the center. Halfway lift, lengthen the crown of your head forward. Keep that soft micro bend in your knees. Exhale back down to your fold, heavy head. Root through your feet, rise to standing all the way up. Breathe in. Side body stretch to your right, right arm. Hold your left wrist. Inhale back through center. Hold your right wrist and then lean to your left. Breathe in back through the middle. Take a back bend here. If you'd like to support your neck or your low spine, you always may. And then slowly rise back up. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, fold in half, Uttanasana. 
Please plant your palms to the floor. Step back to a high plank. Breathe in. Exhale, right knee bends and taps the earth. Inhale, straighten right leg. Exhale, left knee bends, taps the earth. A little bit of core work. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, right. Keep your right knee, right hand down as we did before. Open your left arm to the sky once again. This time, instead of leaning back, we're gonna come forward. So look in front of your right fingertips and start to come light onto your left toes. Maybe your left leg floats up and away for half moon variation. Ardha Chandrasana, left heel in line with left hip. Strengthen your core to press your hips forward to the left side of your space. Tucking your tailbone under and really firing up the strength of your left glute. Stay here or bend your top knee and hold the outer edge of your left foot with left hand. Keep that core engagement, glute engagement, and kick lightly back through your left shin. Breathe in. Breathe out. Steady as you slowly release everything goes long. And then we'll swim our left hand down to the earth. Left toes once again tuck under at the back of your space. Float your left leg up and back, and then cross it behind you, catty corner to your right heel. So it comes behind you. Look over your right shoulder to your back left toe. You're lengthening the left side of your body here and compressing the right side of your body. Pull your left hip away from your left armpit. One more breath. Inhale, descend your left leg up and back. From your core, exhale, knee to your nose. Press into your hand. Three-legged tabletop, breathe in. Exhale, knees to meet at the back of your space, table. Inhale for cow pose, look forward, look up. Exhale, cat spine. And back to your neutral table. Let's take it the other way. This time, left hand grounds down. Breathe in to twist your right arm open. Roll your right wrist a few times both ways. And then thread your arm through, resting on your outer right shoulder, your right ear here. Breathe into the spaces you feel sensation. Grounding down, back through the left palm, right arm opens to the sky. Keep your left hand, left knee as your base. Step your right leg to the back of your mat, Vashisthasana variation. Press down actively into the outer edge of your right foot as you stretch your right arm overhead, one long line of energy through the right side of your body. Breathe in. On your exhale, slowly rise up to kneeling, gate pose, arms like a T. Take your right arm down the length of your right leg, left palm turns to the sky, reverse. Big stretch in the left hip. Exhale to windmill your hands down. Squared shoulders, tuck your right toes under, press back through your heels so you stretch your calf. Belly strong as you lift your left knee to your chest, hovering high plank. Three-legged down dog, inhale. Exhale, bend your left knee, open and stack your hips. Heel falls to your outer right glute, and gaze turns to your back right toes. One more breath here. Exhale. Straighten your left leg, breathe in, hips square. Exhale, knee to your nose. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Exhale through to a low lunge. Set your right knee down to the earth. Flip to the top of your foot. Inhale, look forward. Stretch your collarbones wide apart. Exhale, half splits, Ardha Hanuman. Bring the left toes back. Inhale again forward. And exhale. Last one. Breathe in. Empty out, fold in. 
so good. Come forward, stamp the foot to the floor, bring your right hand to the ground, and twist your left arm to the ceiling. Said sky and ceiling is the ceiling. Breathe in, it's a new thing. Exhale, set your left hand down. Tuck your right toes under. Breathe in to lift your right leg, strengthen the back of your leg. Look forward and then step forward, feet to knee. Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift, laying through the back body. Exhale, forward fold. Root to rise, breathe in, stand up tall. Side body stretch to your right, exhale. Inhale, center, breathe to your left. Inhale through the middle, really releasing, exhale, offer it up, back bend. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, fold forward. Plant your palms, step back to a high plank. Super strong legs here. Make sure the back of your neck is long and engaged too. Exhale, bend your left knee, tap the left knee down. Inhale, re-straighten, squeeze your glutes. Exhale, right knee. Inhale, straighten. Next time, left knee, left hand or down. Spin open to Vashi Sasana, right arm high, side plank. Look down in front of your left fingers. Start to transfer the weight and energy forward and maybe right leg lifts. Again, pressing both of your hips towards the right side of your space, curling the tailbone under. It might bring your right leg a little bit lower, but then you're avoiding super deep sway in your low back. Strengthen and hold the outer edge of your right foot. Kicking lightly back. Breathe in, breathe out. One more, inhale, exhale. Gently let your top foot go if you had it. Bring your right hand to the ground, right leg floats back behind you, and then send it all the way to the back left of your space. Toes tucked under, press back through your right heel looking over your left shoulder. So we're kind of getting a big side body stretch here. Left armpit towards outer left hip. Right hip is pulling away from right armpit. Equal but opposites. Breathe in. Breathe out into the space you feel sensation. Right leg will float up and back. Inhale, belly tone. Exhale, knee to your nose. Inhale, three-legged tabletop. Exhale, bring your knees together. Coming forward, your hands just a bit in front of your shoulder line. Inhale to lean forward. Exhale, slow control lower to the ground. Your chest and hips meet at about the same rate. Tops of your feet root. Inhale for cobra. Lengthen, but little to no weight in your hands here. Super strong in your legs. Exhale to release your chest. Hands underneath you, pressing up through extended table or high plank, your choice. Downward facing dog, let's meet there. Find a breath, inhale, exhale. Inhale, gaze forward between your hands. Exhale, bend your knees and either take a big step, walk or float to the top. Bend into both knees deeply, chair pose, weight is in your heels. Sit the weight back and reach your arms forward and up. Inhale, breath. Lateral twist to your right. Right arm reaches back, left arm forward. I'm trying to keep the crown of your head stacked over your sacrum here. Little bend in the knees. Inhale, back through center. Exhale to twist to your left, left arm back. Right arm forward, super strong. Pull your outer right hip to the back. And inhale back through center. Exhale, airplane wings. Keep the weight in your heels. Rise up to standing, inhale. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Plant your palms back to a high plank, inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga, lower halfway. Inhale for up dog, knowing that cobra is always a great option too. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips up high and back. Take a breath in. Steady exhale. 
Inhale, right leg lifts up high. Exhale, right knee taps your right tricep. Try to stay high in your hip. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Exhale to draw your right foot forward and through. Low lunge between your hands. Left hand to the mat. Breathe in to twist your right arm to the sky. Exhale to set your fingers to the earth. Finding your footing here, rise up to crescent lunge. Anjane Asana, arms sweep up tall. Exhale, cactus arms and bend your left knee. Hover your left shin. Let it be shaky, let it be uncertain. And inhale to rise back up with strength. Exhale, airplane wings. Tilt your torso forward, lift your tailbone up and back to make more space in your hips. Left arm is gonna guide you all the way open to warrior two, land in your front lunge. On your breath in, straighten your front leg, bring your hands to heart, meet in the middle. Exhale, back to warrior two. Turn your right palm to the sky, reverse warrior, inhale. Exhale, windmill your hands down, step back to a high plank. Exhale, heels drop to the left, Left hand towards the center of your mat. Inhale, right arm opens to the sky for side plank. Same as with the left knee down. Same energy benefits. Breathe in. Exhale, right hand to the earth. Same thing. Take a vinyasa if you'd like. Be sure it's quality control over quantity of chaturangas. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Breathe in. Let it go. Next inhale, left leg lifts up high. Exhale, left knee to left tricep, breathe. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Exhale through to a low lunge. Keeping your back knee lifted, right hand grounds, left arm twist open. Exhale, fingertips to the earth. Find your grounding. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, bend into your back knee. Hover your right shin, get low. Inhale, stand up tall. Exhale, airplane torso. Belly lifts energetically off left thigh. Inhale, right arm guides the way open to warrior two. Arms long, middle fingers reaching opposite directions. Straighten your left leg, inhale, hands to heart. Exhale, back to warrior two. Reverse warrior, inhale. Exhale, vinyasa through. Find your breath. Exhale as you lower to the earth. Inhale for the back bend of your choice. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in here. Breathe out. Inhale, gaze forward, bend your knees, walk, step, or float to the top, forward fold. Second round of chair, Utkatasana. Take a breath in, reach your arms up tall, sit the weight back in your hips. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Tilt your torso forward at about 45 degrees, keep the tailbone softly curled under. Left elbow is gonna tap your outer right knee. Exhale for the twist. From the core, inhale back through center. Right elbow taps your outer left knee, exhale. And from your core, return to the middle. We're gonna do two more each side, stay low. Exhale, tap to your right. Inhale through the middle, exhale left. One more each side. And building a little bit of that heat. Inhale, chair. Both arms reach up tall. Exhale, airplane wings. Rise to stand. Big breath in, root through your heels. Exhale, forward fold. Clench your palms. Make your journey to downward facing dog with or without the vinyasa through. <clears throat> breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, right leg lifts up high. Right knee taps your left tricep underneath you. 
Extend your right leg long for a fallen triangle. Left arm high, maybe even a little bend in your front right knee to press your hips a bit higher. Arc the right side of your body like a rainbow. And set your left hand down. Steadily sweep your right leg up like you move through water. Exhale, draw your foot through, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Anjaneyasana, sweep the arms up tall. Lateral twist to your right. Right arm reaches back, left arm fans forward. Take a breath in. Deep exhale out. Right hand to your low back, exalted warrior. Take your left arm up and back in the opposite diagonal of your left hip. You can always bring your back right hand to your left thigh as well if that feels better. Super strong in your back left leg. Let's unravel slow back to the opened arm twist. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, bend your back knee, get super low, use the strength of your foundation. Inhale, rise back up tall. Exhale, airplane wing, hover here. Left arm opens you up, warrior two, exhale. Inhale, straighten your front leg, hands to heart. Exhale, back to warrior two. Reverse warrior, inhale. Adding a layer, extended side angle, right elbow to the inside of right thigh. You can take your left arm over left shoulder or turn the palm towards the front and then take your left arm all the way up and overhead again. That one long line of energy, this time on your left side. Breathe in. Breathe out. Be really strong in your back left leg to help you rise up to standing star. Both sets of toes face forward to the left side of your mat. On your exhale, we're gonna come down to the half force bending into our left knee. So deep seat in your left heel, right leg stays straight and you're stretching your inner right thigh here. Inhale to stand back up tall, squeeze through both glutes at the top. Exhale, drop down into your left knee. Half force, lighten your left toes. Inhale, stand up. One more. Exhale. Inhale. Legs are straight. Pivot your right toes forward to face the front of your mat. Arms wide to a T. Shift your hips back and your right arm extends forward. From that length, set your right hand to right shin or prop. Left arm to the sky. Trikonasana, triangle. Breathe here. Deep exhale. Staying sturdy in your right big toe mound, reverse triangle, take the right arm back. Exhale, windmill your hands down, frame the right foot, step it back to a high plank. Heels drop to the right, left arm to the sky if you'd like, or right arm to the sky, pardon me, big breath in. Exhale, set it down. Chaturanga. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's take it to the left side. Inhale, left leg lifts, left knee to your right tricep. Extend your left leg straight, bend your knee a bit if you'd like, but moving your right arm high and then work towards re straightening your legs. Imagine there's a thread pulling your outer right hip higher out of your left shoulder. And set your right hand down. Three-legged down dog. Inhale, left leg sweeps high through to a low lunge. Find your footing. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, twist to your left. Left arm back, right arm forward, both thumbs face up. Bring your left hand to your low back. Exalted warrior, right arm arcs back. Breathe in. Empty out. Unwrapping slow, both arms wide. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, cactus arms, hover your right knee low. Inhale, stand back up tall. Exhale, airplane wings. Right arm opens you, inhale and land on your exhale, warrior two. 
One time, straighten left leg, hands meet in front of your heart. Exhale, back to warrior two. Reverse, inhale, left arm to the back. Stay in your lunge, exhale, extended side. Take the variation that suits your right shoulder. A great option can be right hand to right hip if that feels better. Breathe as you are. Try to melt your shoulders away from your ear. We'll rise on up to standing star, breathing in. Toes face the right side of your mat. We'll bend into our back right knee. Exhale, half horse, deepen into your seat, lengthen your inner left thigh. Inhale, stand back up tall through full feet you root. Exhale, drop down. Inhale, stand tall. We have one more, exhale. Inhale, legs are long, turn left toes forward, triangle pose, left arm forward and down. Connect and recenter with your breath here. Reverse triangle. Take the left arm back and exhale. Windmill your hands down. Low lunge to high plank. Heels to the right and right hand as your base. Left arm to the sky. Vashisthasana side plank. Inhale. Exhale, left hand down. Skip it if you don't need it. Vinyasa through for the exhale. Inhale and exhale. A great place to come down to your knees, maybe with toes tucked under. Snag a sip of water if you'd like. Child's pose if you'd like to give your shoulders a little bit of a break. Or if down dog feels like a good resting place for your body, take that. Three more breaths where you are. Two. One more. If you are on your knees, you could take a little shake of your wrist. And we'll slowly make our way back to down dog for one more flow together to the right and left side. On your inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Draw your right foot forward and through low lunge. This time, once again, we'll lower our left knee to the earth. Rise on up to crescent moon, Anjaneyasana. Lateral twist to your right, right arm back, left arm forward. Exalted variation, right hand to low back space, left arm up and back. Preserve this length on your left side as you hook your left elbow outside of your right knee. Tighten your left hand into a fist and wrap your right hand just over the top of it. Elbow stack here, forearms and wrists are long and neutral. Breathe in to encourage the very crown of your head forward, neck nice and long. And breathe out to soften your shoulders, leverage your twist. One more, inhale. Spinal rotation, exhale. And slowly engage your core to safely unwrap. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, airplane arms. Again, you're energetically lifted off your top right thigh. Tuck your back left toes. Lift your back left knee off the ground. Inhale all the way open to warrior two. Straighten hands to heart. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse inhale. Extended side. Standing star, breathe in. Just one time, half horse to the back of your mat. Exhale. Inhale, stand star. Turn right toes forward. Exhale, triangle. 
stay here or launching into half moon with your right fingers maybe a foot distance in front of I always get out of the frame for half moon it seems right fingers down you can always use a prop like a water bottle to give you more space as well left leg lifts tailbone curls slightly under feel your glute engage and your hips stack Take whatever variation with left arm feels good. And if you'd like to find Chapasana, like you did the first time kneeling, holding your left foot, point your left knee towards the back of your space first, and then start to kick up and back. Breathe as you are. When we shake, when we get on balance, we choose to provide ourselves the same compassion, humor, and lightness as we would for anyone else in our world. Letting it go, bend into your right knee, reverse warrior, inhale, runner's lunge. Hands come down to the inside of your right foot, heel toe right foot to the top right corner, and lower your left knee to the floor. We'll be here for about six slow, steady breaths. If you'd like to lower down to your forearms, you can keep a fairly neutral spine. That might be nice for any other variation that calls out to you. Make your breath count here. Three more. And go super slow as we bring our hands back to underneath our shoulders. Tuck your left toes, strong core as you sweep your right leg high. Bend your right knee, stack your hips. You can stay here or take flip dog, right foot outside of your left. I like to bring my hips low first to protect my left shoulder before arcing back. Maybe your right hand supports the back of your skull here. Inhale. Exhale, drop your weight back into your seat to help you flip back over. Down dog. Big exhale. Inhale, left leg lifts up. Exhale, draw your left foot through, low lunge, right knee down to the ground. Inhale for crescent move. Lateral twist to your left, left arm back, right arm forward, tall to start. Exalted warrior, breathe in. Right elbow hooks outside of your left knee. Tighten your right hand into a fist. Wrap the hand with your left. Elbows are working towards stacking. Spine is lengthening. Tailbone is reaching back from the crown of your head. And then like you're on a spiraling, look over top left shoulder. Be with your breath. Let that be indicative of how far you move with your back body. Strong core as we unwrap, inhale, crescent move. Exhale, airplane arms, sweep the arms back. With strength, tuck your right toes under, start to lift your back right knee, reach your head forward, and then open all the way to warrior two. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, warrior two. Flow, reverse, inhale. Exhale, extended side. Standing star, breathe in, rise up. Exhale, half horse bending into your back, right knee. Inhale, stand back up. Exhale, left toes forward, triangle, triponasana. Staying in triangle or coming into half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Use the support you need so that you can feel as centered, as balanced as possible. Because what translates physically to our energetic and mental states too, 
Maybe right hand reaches for right outer foot. Kicking back lightly. Breathe. Breathe here. Inhale. And exhale. Notice if you could soften the grip of your left toes. One more breath. We bend into our front left knee to find soft landing, reverse warrior, all the way down to runner's lunge. Bring your left foot to the top left of your space and lower your right knee down to the ground. Stay lifted on the hands or maybe lower down to your forearm. Three more slow breaths here. Can you bring your shoulders away from your earlobes? We make our way back to our hands, tucking the right toes under and strengthening our right leg. Lift our left leg high, bend knees, stack hips. I'm gonna use my sofa here, I guess. <laughs> Taking flip dog, up and back. Maybe hold your head, let your head drop back. Kind of like this variation. Y'all should give it a try. Take one more big breath as you are. <sighs> bend into your knees, drop the seat, and flip back over. Downward facing dog, Adha Mukha. Svanasana. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees. Set your knees down to the floor. Come forward here. Exhale, slow control, lower the earth. Let's take our arms into a capital T shape, straight out from our shoulders. We'll start with the left shoulder so I can kind of show you. Where am I going here? There we go. Left arm out from left shoulder head. Keep the head of your left shoulder connected to the floor. You're gonna bend your right knee, turn your gaze right, and then roll over to the left side, resting your head here on the earth or on a prop if that's better for your neck. I'm resting my head here on my right hand. Breathe. Big inhales, big exhales. Go slow, make your way back through center. Left arm out from left, or right arm out from right shoulder head. Bend your left knee, roll to the right side and rest your head here. And the hand could be a great kind of pillow for your head and neck. And you find wholesome breaths here. Let them nourish your body. Inhale. Exhale. One more. and making your way back through center, go slow. Please stack your hands at the top of your mat. Rest your forehead on that space so your neck is neutral. Bend your knees, and then let your feet tick tock side to side. Just a nice release for your low back. back through stillness. Let your legs go long. Lift your head enough that you can turn over onto your back bodies. Heads facing the front of your space. Feet facing the back. Take a long stretch here. Arms up and overhead. 
toes extend down below and exhale. Welcome your right knee to your right armpit. Roll your right ankle, move through your right toes. And then take your right leg across your body for a twist, turning over your right shoulder. So you're looking the opposite direction of your right knee. Breathe. Inhale. Steady exhale. Unwind, bring our right knee in. Get the tight hug. And then please switch out the other leg. Right leg long, left knee in. Move your foot, ankle, toes. And then guide your left knee across your body, off-centering your hips a little bit if you need before you do. And turning over your left shoulder, gaze is soft. Breath intentionally begins to slow down. Breathe back in through center. Hugging the left knee in. Keep the left knee hugged in as you draw your right knee into, into a small little ball and rock soft knee side to side. And the soles of your feet come to touch. Let the outer edges of your feet come down to the floor. Supta Baddha Konasana. Knees fall wide of one another. Bring one hand to your heart and one hand to your navel. Try to find a lot of length here through your spine. A soft tuck of chin towards chest. And then begin to mindfully bring your breath into both of your hands. As you inhale, feel your belly and your chest rise together. Exhale to let them both sink a little closer to the earth. Feel the rise and fall of your breath. Three more breaths here. Slowly bring our hands around our knees. Help guide your knees in. Last big hug in for your body. Thank your body. Thank yourself. Thank you for the space. And then let everything go long for Shavasana. Legs rest, arms widen and spread, and everything softens to the ground for a few precious moments in stillness. In this moment, you are responsible to hold yourself accountable for making space to rest after the work. Recognizing the importance in the softening and the sweet sides, as well as the strength. All too often, we take charge and action 